Welcome back. Welcome back on our 2-3 matchup here between Andy Haas and George Von Kirschenbar. I did not see which course that they spun before they spun it, but we'll get it dialed up here real quick for you. This is a second, third place match. Uh, come down, Andy just taking down Evan Gossett on Pine. George fell out of the king of the hill uh, by losing Ryan McCook not too long ago. So, uh, oh, that's is, Ben, maybe. Been oh, around. Monte. So around Monte. Okay. All right. George trying to get uh, get all the way there, get himself a chip. Looks like he's probably going to have a, kind of a tweener there. And he's going the same way, see if he can wrap a little bit more and get the bounce off the get mountain. The, yep, get the good kick. Yeah, almost. All right. That's a chisher for him probably, though. George's going to hit that, I'm going to guess. Yep. Might have. Mm. Just a hair left. I bet we see a Cheshire here from Andy. Yep. Getting those thumbs worked out, getting a feel for it. A little bit. There it goes. Yep. Those guys are so deadly with that <laughs> shot. <laughs> that so <laughs> deadly with that shot. That that <laughs> No, he 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 yeah. knows knows he's making that. Yeah, that's um that's my next learn shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's a tough one, and and it's great to see some of the guys that do it and do it well. They all have their own little techniques. Yep. There's not the one way to do the chest shot. It's just whatever works for you. Um, yeah. Some it, people use all their thumbs. Some mm -hmm. people just use the hand. Yep. I was told, uh, forget who I was playing with the other night. They just use the tip of their middle finger. Okay. Um, so yeah, everybody has just, their own way of doing it. And, and it's just about getting that ball straight uh, and getting it with that min speed. Right. I've seen people on the front of the ball. I've seen people on the back side of the track ball. It's just it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a variety of, of, of technique there. And he looks up just before his ball goes in the cup. So just bring you guys up to date. If you're just joining us, this is the loser's bracket final. Correct. The winner of this match will play uh, Mr. Ryan McCook. Um, those of you that are watching the stream, please hit up the likes for us and get us up on those. If Share them with your friends. Um, you want to see the bracket. Oh, he hopped over. Just missed Sorry. it there. If you want to see the brackets, the main and the purple are on PEGTTour.com. Um, and then the pink and copper, George making a run there. Pink and the copper are on Challenge on the Golden T fan page. Yes. And we're winding them down. We'll, they're, yeah, they're, they're a good call. They're, they're moving right Steve said well. between 4.30 and 5, we we're going to be close. Mm -hmm. And these guys are, like I said, we've mentioned all afternoon, they're, they're running a really tight ship. And it's all in the help of the, the thanks to the guys that have brought in all these machines. Um, it's been a great weekend. So. It really, really has. I'm going to try to look up the current standings on the player. So Andy's going to try to, he just, just missed getting down that hill. So I will tell you something interesting on this hill, on this this hole, Matt. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this. If you go right on this fairway, do you know what happens? It goes down. Yeah, and it goes way you, down. And, and you don't go back. You cannot get back up. Yeah, it's. Uh, I found <laughs> like like most things in that way. I found it out once. <laughs> and I did too. Personal never experience. Never mentioned where the dragons are. So those of you who have played Monty on and played the hole three, do not go right. Or I'm sorry, hole four. So do not go right of the fairway because you cannot get back up. Looks like right now on the, the for the Top Gun cut, Art DeVries is right on the Bubble Boy line at 30. It says 34th, but there's two folks that aren't here. So he is currently in 32nd place with Matt Cavanaugh right behind him. But uh, if I'm looking, I'm going to guess Gino is probably the only one that can maybe jump himself up there if uh, if he wins his. No, Gino, I'm sorry, no, Gino's in 29th. Oh. So this might be set. It might be. Andy might be the line. Andy's playing ping pong or uh, pinball with the uh, <laughs> back back front and then right in the middle of the green. So. He paid for the whole course. Yeah, he's all, right? he's using the whole green on that one. <laughs> and good a good putt. putt. Good putt. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he knows he narrowly avoided uh, giving that stroke back. And it's the same as we saw last round, right? The last thing you wanted – he did it last round. He got the stroke on Evan right. on hole three there, uh, two or three, and, and just gave it right back. And he just could – you know, he's not going to repeat that mistake. 366 is good, good distance for these guys. I expect him to see him put him up in that corner, take the speed off of it. Kind of That'd be corner. fun. That's right. A lot of times just, just a hair left of that, though, that's that rough patch. That'll help take the speed off that ball mm -hmm. so it wasn't quite trail so far uh, when you're kind of in between the numbers there which they certainly are. You can't quite get 10 and a half there. And George is staying on. Good shot. Yep. Helps you stay away from flirting with that front, false front there. 
nothing false about it, but that's what they call it for some reason. Mm -hmm. Get Wall Street down the hill there. Yep. So Andy's still up one after five. Six. Six. Stu Fox, you're right. They, this, the, well, <laughs> if it's any course but Monte, they might finish this match in 10 minutes. But uh, just with the elevation change, I think that tax on an extra two over the course of the round. So. Mm -hmm. Backspin. Yep. And that's nice. Andy still making oh, palindrome it points. Nice. Good job. A binary palindrome points. Yeah. Like yeah. We're going to really nerd it out today. So with the hole being pretty close right there, George can make a run right run at this hole. Yeah, just find the club that he likes, and it's a little left. He cut his pullback he's was just a little short, off just the beach, and that's that's not forgiving over there. Yeah, it will not bounce towards the green, no matter how much you think it should. Out of that junky rough, and you got enough a great, on it. Good great job, Got to watch that heavy rough back there. That stuff on this course is pretty nasty. So Andy's still up one. Moving right along. Again, the winner of this match will play Ryan McCook. Um, as we said during the break, uh, this camera does not do everybody distance uh, uh, justice. I'm sorry. There are yeah, a lot. Of people back there there are a lot of people to the right of Andy that you cannot see that are. Uh, That's right. Yeah, there's, are there's surrounding there is a those large machines. crowd <laughs> watching these. Yeah, there's a. Oh, that's and right. yeah, I don't know if that's been mentioned or not, but we have a huge screen above. Above the players, Above basically. the players. Right about you know, 10 feet or whatever. So you don't so. have to be right up on these guys watching. You can actually sit back a little bit and see it on the screen. Yeah. So yeah. Um, kudos to, again, the guys here at Legends. They've the just done a great job. Well, IT, yeah. again, hands off hands off to – hats off to the guys here at AT, uh, with IT. Um, done a really good good job putting everything together. He seems to get down. He sees that he wants to get down. Okay, that's safe. We, sure this, is this the only place we've ever had that TV like that? No, oh, we had it at Evansville. Austin had one, yeah. It's awesome. That would be nice to have just about everywhere if we could make that happen. <laughs> Mike Muse is currently on. <laughs> Mike Muse is currently on Amazon trying to figure find one. <laughs> so we just need a projector TV. I'll, <laughs> if we have any uh, venues that are listening to us, we <laughs> we just need a projector TV. Well. The, certainly the, uh, the the 25 foot ceilings here don't hurt you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to have room for such a thing. So we saw this play earlier by Luna. I saw this play earlier by Luna. He skipped it off the side, off the top, oh, and that, made the, the hole in yeah, one. This is that tee box that's right way down below. There. Yeah. yeah. And, and GBK that's just, just the first time you thing. see that tee box. That's pretty <laughs> deceiving because like, well, you don't even know what hole you're on. Yeah. <laughs> but I saw Luna earlier make that hole in one, just, just skipping it right off. off yep, skipped it right off that top and took one bounce and right back in. So. Nice. Pretty cakey set up here. Uh, you can go down below. You can go on the little island, whatever you want to do. So this is another That's one we've wins. talked about all weekend. It seems like since the new tees have Kick. come out, um, that new patch up on the top has become a trampoline. If you don't land it in the right spot, the ball just bounces and uh, won't it, stay. It will compared to before, and I think part of that is because now, like this shot here, you're kind of approaching it from below that spot. Uh, you get a little more about the other times it would come in from so high up that all the speed had been taken off and it just kind of right. sat down and dug a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're probably right. It probably does react quite a bit differently than it used to. George looking at just this, that and it's change. a great shot. So, Andy coming in from the other side, not a bad look here at all. 29, soft, way out. Take all that distance off of it towards the hole. Yep, that much turn on it, that's going to go shooting to the right. Good low side putt. And he maintains one up. And Andy's pretty dialed in right here with his putting. Yeah, he's not uh, not been far off with uh, hardly any of them. So this pin stuck right back up in that corner. Yeah, this is a teaser spot. Uh, if you really wanted to get after this one, which you don't, you know, so Andy's going to leave it out in the center. That's a smart play for him being up one. He's going to let George try to chase after that thing. That is, I won't even say that's a teaser spot. That's just a danger, yeah. danger pin spot. Yep. Because you can't really go at it, you got to kind of come around it. Yeah. yeah George doesn't have any, George don't want anything to do with it. No, I, I, don't, I don't, don't think, blame him. I don't think I would either. Don't blame him. Nope. Oh, get down. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> same spot. <laughs> same exact. <laughs> Somebody was uh, digging a little, tamping a little hole on that right side there. <laughs> let those two fall in. 
they club down one here with the elevation change? Nope. I like it. Backspin right, right in. Rip. Yep. Good distance. Good distance. Let's see if George, George can make. Not. He's make. got a different set of clubs. He's going to push that seven hybrid. He got it out to the left a little bit more. He did, he, bit as soon as he more. hit it, he knew he'd push it out. Yeah. He tried so to make the it. adjust. He might try to make the adjustment off of Andy's and kind of overdid it. Mm -hmm. So Andy still up one after 13. Six holes to go here. Andy going top side. So I've been. Everybody's been telling me to change this shot, but this is the shot I've been doing the whole time. I don't. Oh. I, I know how to play the wind. If you know how to play that wind, but yep. everybody's like, if you go low, it changes, takes the wind totally out of play. But it, it does. Uh, well, it's just one of these holes. That I, I what, what happens on the left fairway there is you get more level with the green, right. so you don't have the uh, the elevation to deal with on the second shot. Uh, and, and there's a lot less mountain there than you think that there is for right. that left fairway as well. So it does work out pretty well. But yeah, like you said, if you if this is the spot you know and you don't have any issues with. Uh, trouble there then then why would you right. necessarily change and Andy right there with a great shot that's and that's just what you want to do put it just past the hole and let yeah. it come on back to it so George is going to throw it out there to the left I think straight line it and let the uh, bite come back at the hole here yeah maybe yep. back good shot knows. Monte's a tough one because you don't really necessarily have a good chance to go chasing a stroke here uh, there's plenty of chances down the road to get one but at the same time uh, you don't. It's tough to stay patient that whole time, mm -hmm. uh, especially as you have to wait here. You've got four holes to go now. And this uh, is not a bad. This is an easy is setup. So easy actually, setup. Yeah, George right can make a run, make a run right here. Yeah, that's trailing right. But he's gonna be okay. But yeah, George can make a run at this one if he gets over far enough. He can find his right speed. <laughs> he knows he <laughs> needs to hole it. <laughs> Thought about it. It's like if I'm gonna hole it, I may as well make an extra that, 85. That's right. So you get the little mountain on the left that's a little bit in the way, but so he's, he's gonna, gonna high go. tee it. Yep. Give it a little bit and let it, oh, just come up. Sure. Let that be with the bite. It wouldn't have mattered. Dead end. So 16, par 3, <coughs> 17, reasonably difficult par 4, and then and then everybody knows about 18. So let's see if we can get some fireworks here or if Andy's going to hold on and shoot the uh, 32. That's a good shot by Andy. Yep. Tough pin to get out there. Going uphill, front side pin. Just you can do yep. the backspin, but then there you're really chancing that front side. Not a bad run there, but a little bit of pucker yep. factor as it uh, come come soaring back. And George is trying. He knows oh. he's got two holes to go. Yep, he's basically got two 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 shots to pick this stroke up. Uh, so, and he knew <laughs> this isn't typically your 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 prototypical ace hole. So, yeah, uh, it was a good one to go take a run at, uh, even if it did have a little bit of danger involved. And he's thinking about this one. He just wants to make sure he puts it on the green. Make, try, try not to give himself a you know 60-footer or something, right, but without overcooking it and going all the way under that uh, rough on the right side. That's a really yes. good effort there. That's exactly yep. what he needed to do. Yep. George is going to zorch one across the screen, I think, and give it a go. I got caught up at the top. He was looking to avoid that hill, but it's all right. That rolls off straight, true. Yep, rolled off true. Good putt. So here we are on 18, crosswind look. Thumbers abound off the left side of that green. Bite. Just trying to find their line. And he's oh, just going to cut, cut it. it back in. All right. Don't see much of that, but it's a good shot. And he's safely on. So GBA knows he's got to hold this. So George is going to make a run. Knows he's got to hold it. Pin's not in a terrible spot for doing that, but we'll see what uh, see what he cooks up. He's going three release. He didn't and like get it. out what like he wants. Get it out there. Yep. Didn't get the distance or the line that he wanted there. So Andy's going to move on to play Mr. McCook. So there you go. Nice nice 31, George. Nice par round 31. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, Just you were up against uh, the monster, yeah. Mr. Andy Haas, um, who grabbed that hole out. And that was the difference. Nice rounds for both of those guys. Really good job. And that's got to give you some confidence going to the finals. Oh, absolutely. Right there, right? Throwing in the one absolutely. better. Absolutely. After the two better on Pine, uh, two better, one worse on Pine, anyways, it's still one better. Yeah. And a one better on Monte. Two of the harder courses in the gig, so yep. that's uh, that's got to have him feeling pretty good going in the into the McCook match here in the finals. So 